How long will it take to get to Germany? I shouldn't let you do this. Why are you doing this for me? We are both exiles in a strange land. If we can't be human to each other, then what are we? Where am I to leave the reply? If one comes. Officer, you are just an orderly and therefore of no use to with me. With all due respect, sir, you're making it rather difficult for us to do our job. If you can just come with me to the ward. Well, you're not the CO. Unless the army's completely lost its mind. Matron Carter, might I have your name? Ballard. Major J, 5th Punjabi Rifles. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not like these poor devils. I need to get out and get back to the front immediately. I'll tell Colonel Brett you want to speak to him. In the meantime, I must ask that you go quietly to the ward. And I must also ask that you give me your revolver. Well, it's not army issue. It's mine. It belongs to me. It's private property. Nonetheless, before you go to the ward, I still need to take it. Now, I do not enjoy being given orders by a woman. And there is no point in you standing there with your little paw out, so why don't you go and find the CO? Now step to it, Charlie Caro. My Terry Nakani. Well, well, well. She speaks Punjabi. The gun is mine. Do Matron Carter. Ordinate. Can you take him? He can't walk. Yeah. Now hold up. He's still himself. Well, you know him. Yeah. Me and him got business. An Indian Army officer, Ballard, wants to see you. Him and several hundred others. I'll put him on my list. I'd like it if you could see him quite promptly. He's the type to make his presence felt. He'll go on my list. Have you been running? I never run. Officer Ballard, can you give him a message for us? Depends on the message. Just tell him Gorman the Snipe was here. Tell him I said hello. Is he going to want to say hello to you? No, I reckon. So, you tell him. Most important, you get yourself sorted out and have a kit first. No, I'm nowhere near that yet. Tomorrow we'll have been here for three months. I know. Don't you think we should throw a do? I mean, we don't need a reason, but it's the perfect reason. We can invite the patients and the staff. What kind of do? You know, just something little and fun. Charades, songs around the piano. Everybody loves to sing a song. Oh, people could do their party pieces. Bet you have a party piece, don't you, Corporal? Yeah, mopping. Well, I'll, I'll organise it. It'll just be small, but you can tell people, and whoever wants to come can come. I'm not singing. No, nor me. 
Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll start the singing. We want them to get better, not worse. <laughs> well, have you know that at home I'm actually considered rather tuneful. What just happened? I think we're throwing a do. I'll pick some flowers to decorate it and maybe even put up a stage. And of course there'll be a pianist, but not me. I'm not very good at the piano, but someone who is good at the piano. Have you put on concerts before? Oh, yes. I have a great deal of experience in theatricals. I was in the Worthing Operatic Society, where I took the role of a pirate in Pirates of Penzance. Everyone commented on it very favourably. I just thought it would be fun. Give everyone a boost and bring us all together. Yes, well, carry on, Marshal. I shall watch and applaud. Morning, Major Ballard. Time to have your dressing changed. No. Why not, Major? Because I said not. Where's the commanding officer? Has he fallen down a hole? What have I got to do to speak to him? He'll be round as soon as he's ready. Why doesn't anybody in this place do what they're told? If I could just address your arm. For you. Colonel Brett. Delighted you could finally make it. I did warn you. I don't appreciate being summoned by the sound of smashing crockery. You have to sign me out and send me back up to the front as a matter of urgency. Do I indeed? I've left 400 sepoys under the command of a young lieutenant, two months out of school, who has perfect Greek and Latin, but not a word of the bloody lingo spoken by my Sikh lions. Matron here speaks more Punjabi than he does. You have an open wound in your arm. You're staying here. Colonel, this is confidential. There's going to be a push. Now, how in the hell are my men supposed to execute that push if there's no one there who can understand them? There's nothing leaving until dawn tomorrow, but you won't be going anywhere unless you pipe down and get treated. Well, in that case, I want Matron to do it. Matron has far too much work to be dancing attendance on you. What should we ask her? If it'll mean less trouble. You never said. Never asked, sir. I don't know why you're so surprised. You know I began my service in India. Yes, but I didn't know you grew up there. I'm quite envious. Why? Well, tigers and elephants. We didn't have them in Godalming. I mean. It was a perfectly ordinary childhood. You're a dark horse, Grace Carter. I'm nothing of the sort. Oh, sister, when you, uh, this chap of yours gets some leave, you must tell us. We can arrange something so you can scoot off and join him. Oh, sorry, I'm, of course, I, I don't want you to think that we're, we're gossiping about you. No, no, not at all. It's very kind of you, sir. Oh, it's bribery. We want to keep you. I need you to cover night duty tonight. Tonight, Matron. Is that a problem? No, of course not. So what sort of do is this going to be? Depravity and absence? Will I plumb new depths of shame? More tea and biscuits, songs and charades, I'm afraid. Hardly the last days of round. The ready for us in theatre? Yep. Two minutes. Are you musical, Captain? No. Two minutes. Don't mind my friend. One of the best, but the word abrupt was coined for him. I don't mind him. We could do a duet, a lush, swooning, romantic duet, gazing into each other's eyes, followed by a quick engagement, become the most talked about people in the place, and Oxus delivers you here right off her pedestal. For God's sake. Can't everyone find another subject to discuss? Has everyone got such boring little lives that the only thing they can talk about is me? God, is that the time? <clears throat> You're shaking. What's wrong? Joan, what is it? Can't you leave me alone? I just want everyone to leave me alone. 
Is that too much to ask? It all rather blossomed into something more extravagant, which means we've got far more to be getting on with. This is for you to do, and you. Flora, I'm on the wards. I don't have time to argue about this. I'm far too busy. I've got to organise the acts and turns. I thought we could sing something. Together. What do you mean, together? On a stage? I'm not singing. Ah. Matron. I hope you can forgive me for taking you away from all those other vital duties. Major, you don't care if I forgive you or not. You just want to be the centre of attention and to have everything your own way. But what else would I expect of a man from the regiment who call themselves the Fire Eaters? How do you know the nickname of our regiment? I expect someone told me. I expect they didn't. That name hasn't been used for 20 years. How will you know it? I flattered myself you might be interested in me, but now I think you're interested in the company of men that I keep. Is there a question you want to ask me? Something you want to know about? I have no question for you, sir. No. Now you're lying. I always know when a woman is lying. And you consider yourself an expert. Real women, yes. Of your type. What type are we, sir? No, I mean virgins. Professional cold fish. Unbridged. Untouched. Unloved. You're trying to provoke me. You let your guard down when you spoke Punjabi. Something going on underneath your armor plating. As you said yourself, you're no expert on types like us. You want to indicate me. What makes a woman like you put on a uniform and behave like a nun? At least a nun gets the ecstasy of religious rapture. What do you get? I help people. Yes, well, I don't need your help. I'm only submitting to be good and get out of here. Then be good. And you'll get what you want. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? Um, there's a private Gorman outside. He says he knows you. Who? Gorman, sir. He's hoping to talk to you. The name means nothing to me. That's what he said, is it? What is he to you? He's a marksman. He's the shot. Even one-eyed. No one can bloody touch him. We well, see, I'm the shot too. And he knows it. And he knows me. I don't matter what he told you, he knows me. I think someone was going to cut them up as rugs for the horses. They need a bit of a shake. You need more than a good shake. There's going to be a lot of people going to this concert wanting to hear Miss Marshall singing. I take it the Colonel will be attending. I believe so. That's nice. It was the proper spirit of camaraderie. Will you be joining in? I've often been complimented on my baritone, but uh, sadly a quartermaster's work is never done. Sure, it'll be a very jolly event. Watch out for that mud. You all right? I 
Rosalie Barrick, you are a right honourable. You're really a lady. What judgment are you going to make of that, I wonder? Just a passing remark. You always think I'm insulting you. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Oh! oh. Major Ballard. Sir, you remember me? Let me jog your memory. My officer put me in a wager against you. See who had the best shot, long range and short. Ah, oh, be a good six months ago now. Yes. And I won, as I recall. You did, sir. It was close, but you won. My officer lost a fair few quid. He weren't best pleased. Snipe his feet. Stood in a hole full of water for five days without moving. Skin splitting your boots. Still got me man, though. He moved first. <sighs> got him. So you might have beaten me back then, but now I never miss. Perhaps we might have that wager again. That's when you're just gonna have to stay beaten. I'm due back to the front imminently. Well, I'll see you up there then, sir. At your convenience. I can wait. I can wait forever when I've got a man in me sights. Sir. I can't believe you haven't thought of something for us to do together yet, especially when I'm so busy. I told you I'm not. I don't see why you won't sing. I bet you can. And I know you can play the piano. I've heard you in the church. If someone hummed a tune, I bet you could pick it up. You're the one that's used to performing. I just... I don't, don't like being looked at very much. I just really hoped we could all do something together. The three of us. I just thought it would be so lovely. All right, I'll sing with you. I suppose I'll play. <sighs> Not rehearsing your party piece, sister. I've got night duty. He should be on the ward. He won't come in yet. He's got a score to settle. I never rehearse in front of an audience. Goodness me, Flora. You are precious. It was worth an opera society, not Covent Garden. Well, I'm just thinking of you two, and you're more shy than I am. Just tell them it has to be a surprise for tomorrow. <sighs> Where's Kitty? Oh, 
Tom, are we really going to ignore each other? I'd prefer it, Miss Trevelyan. You're in my way. Can't we at least be civil? I avoid you for a reason. That's got to be clear. But now you're in my way wanting me to do what? Come running when you click your fingers? I'm sorry to ruin your fun. You think I'm having fun? I don't know. Maybe it's entertaining for you. Maybe you collect men and ties up in knots for your amusement. Well, find someone else to dance to your tune because it's not going to be me. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Everybody's really rather good, you know? That's best to make you happy, not miserable. Can we rehearse now everyone's gone? You know, I think you'd be much better off doing it on your own. Don't you dare. You, you were the one that persuaded us. You practically forced us into it. I get such awful stage fright. I told Colonel Brett that I'd been really good in Pirates of Penzance, but I froze. Nothing came out of my mouth, and I fell over some scenery and everybody laughed. Well, we just won't sing anything at all, then. Oh, no. No, you have to. I've told everybody now. Everybody's expecting it. You'll be fine. Where are you going? I'm going to see Cook about the sandwiches. And... I'll look after the decorations, too. That's wonderful. Can I get you anything, sir? You just can't stay away, can you? I'm not an invalid. If I need something, I can get it myself. I beg your pardon. Good night, sir.
what's gone wrong? Nothing. Is there anything for me? No. And I'm sorry. There was never any guarantee that it would get through and it might have been stopped in, in Switzerland. But even if a letter comes now, I, I won't be able to get it to you. We're leaving. We have passes for England. We won't stand out so much. What do you mean, stand out? Are you having trouble? We have to leave. It's not safe here anymore. I'm glad to be both. I truly am. It's so late for it to be out. Yeah, we leave now. I wish I could have brought you a reply. I wish I could have helped. I think I know in my heart that he's dead. I think I know it. Good luck, Mr. Tillings. And thank you for trying. Crocuses, daffodils, and hyacinths. I'm going to plant them everywhere, but I'll start here. We've something to look forward to during the winter, and everything's so dreary, and it's going to get ever so cold. But in the spring, there'll be a carpet of colour. I feel very bad about letting it slip about your engagement ring. I wanted to try and make it up to a little. It's probably a bit silly. No. No. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> I just might not be here to see it. You're not going to leave, are you? I mean, none of us might be here. Oh, yes, of course. The war might all be over. Anything's possible. <laughs> Nearly anything. Poche. Oui, regardez. Cours à l'hôpital. On part. On part aujourd'hui. Oui, la fouille est poche. S'il vous plaît. Pitié. C'est l'allemand. Ce n'est que de la poésie. Ah ouais, c'est quoi ça Oh Hein Hein Hé, c'est un peu
I see what you mean. Leave it with me. Ballard. One moment, Major. I need to check something. What's all this about? It's just routine. Read this for me, if you would. Oh, for God's sake, haven't you got better things to do? Just read it for me, please. Feel free to turn your head if it makes it any easier. This is her, isn't it? I knew she was watching me. It could be a variety of conditions. It could be Stargardt's disease, although, of course, we're not allowed to call it that now because Stargardt was German, but call it what you will. You're losing your sight, aren't you? How in hell have you been coping? A man in the purple crescent gun I can see perfectly well. You have peripheral sight. You can see here and here. No wonder you're in such a rush to get out of here before anyone noticed. There's no push, is there? How long's it been getting worse for? Perhaps over the last year? And perhaps a rapid deterioration over the last couple of months? I'm afraid not answering won't change the facts. This does happen. Not to me. I understand that this is a cruel bloat. No, of course I don't know. Good I am sorry. But you can't stay here in France. Don't send me back to some hospital in England. There's nowhere else I can send you. When? Tonight. What's the matter? Anglaise? Oh, what's she doing here? Cher, you with your papa. Huh? With your papa, Cher. That was a low trick. That was underhand. Necessary. No, we're both the same, you and I. Army. No other life above and beyond. You more than anybody should understand why I needed to go back. But you're an empty husk. All rules and duty. You know nothing about me. Oh, look. Some passion. Yes, it's a bit too late for that, though, isn't it? You need help. Well... When I'm in England, a country where I've never lived, when I'm having my food cut up for me, being poked and prodded by pitying hands when I'm just a diagnosis on a scrap of paper, I shall think of you standing here and your remorseless help. Still with us then, sir. But all you gotta do is agree to meet me when we're back up. Shop for shop, prove who's best. Just agree to meet me. Then shake on it and I leave you alone, sir. You're always yapping at my heels, aren't you? Every king must fall. Must they? It's just the way of the world, sir. Now will you shake on it? All right, Gorman. I'll agree to meet you 
You can have your wager. You can have it right now. Sit tight, I'll be back. Oh, it's John. Go to the house. Go to the house. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. There was me happy to settle for an handshake. I might have known you'd always be ready. When I beat you, I won't be crowing about it. You'll have your dignity. It's good there, lads. It's do for you, sir. Set it up. Mr. Lifsey, he was found on the road. Where's Matilda? Where's his little girl? She's in Matron's office being looked after and quiet. She's unhurt, at least physically. I need to ask you some questions. Hello there. There you go, Miss. Thank you. It's obvious they think he was spying. It's just poetry. No, it's not just anything that's found by the wrong people. Do you know where they would have been going? Yes. Uh, he said they had friends in London they were hoping to get to. When did he tell you that? The last time I treated him, sir. Right. Well, try and get these into some sort of order. I'll make sure they both get to where they're supposed to be. You don't think he's a spy? I think he's been incredibly naive and stupid. He must have stood out like sore thumbs in that village. They look different, they sound different. What a world. Where well, you're beaten up for a book. Mind you, he's lucky they didn't hang him. Near miss. Still a hit. I told you I got better, sir. Yours might have been a hit, but I think I might just have the edge. If you up the stakes? I like you, sir. I really do.
my turn. When you said you wanted a wager, you changed your mind? Never, sir. Don't move. Can you even see? Can you what? What should you just say? I can do this. And if you can't, you'll kill him. Where's Kitty? Well, how should I know? Oh, wrong. Why did I even say I'd do this? But you did, and now we're doing it. Leave them! If Kitty doesn't come, you'll have to sing. Go ahead. I'll be there. Let me go back to my men. Why did you have to be such a bloody nurse? My father was a very difficult and a very unhappy man. I grew up in a house full of guns. There were guns everywhere. I spent my childhood unloading his guns and trying to hide the bullets from him. Of course, the inevitable happened. And I spent a long time blaming myself for his death. So you feel compelled to save everybody else? Was it your father in the regiment? No. Are you ready now? I don't even know which direction I'm facing. No, I still think you have a question for me. If you do, you need to ask it now. Lighter convoys here, Major. Sir, in your regiment, do you know of a Subedar Major, Amar Singh? 
Yes, I do. Uh, he's folding on us, right? Friend of yours? A passing acquaintance of many years ago. More than that. Of course, more than that. Of course. I always thought I'd know if he fell. Somehow I always thought I'd know. First, we have a musical treat from the Mikado. Welcome to the concert. <laughs> One little maid's ride, yum yum. Two little maids in attendance come. Three little maids is the total sum. Three little maids from school. Three little maids from school. Are you going to their house? To get Matilda's storybook. The father thought I was you. He said, go to the house waiting for you. What's waiting for you, Joe? He'd just been beaten. Of course he wasn't making sense. What's waiting for you and why can't it come here? Why do you have to go and get it? Kitty, get out of my way. He was beaten up because people thought he was a spy. He reads German. Lots of people do. This fiancé that you tried to keep a secret. This man that... That you don't like talking about, he's not British, is he? <gasps> they will crucify you, John. They will crucify you. It's just a letter. That's all they did, it's just a letter. It's going to tell me whether he's dead or alive. I have to know. It's just a letter. Please. Please. Any singing of mucky songs, any telling of mucky jokes, I'll know about it. And asses will be kicked. Now, book it off! Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
Got your letter. from the train. It's not safe. You're going to ride away from the village this hour, a crossroads. Hide yourself there and watch the road for me. I'm going to get you different no. clothes, no. food, money. No. And I'll think no. of something. And no, I I'm think not leaving you alone with them. I'm the one with the British uniform. I'm not the one they'll hang. I'm not the one they'll shoot. You. So you are leaving now. Watch the road. Now we'll come. Ich liebe dich. I love you. Good evening, sister. What have you been up to? Your loyalties lie with the enemy. You're as much to blame as she is. What are you gonna do? 
All senior staff are to be questioned as to his ability to lead this hospital. How the hell could it get any worse? Throw yourself! No one doubts you, Roland. You understand you're subject to military law. Conviction by court martial be liable to suffer death. Crimson Field concludes next Sunday at 9. If you missed Generation War last night, the drama series offering a German perspective on the 1939-45 conflict, it's available now on BBC iPlayer. And more original British drama on BBC Three now, In the Flesh.